Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, we're talking about everything new coming into season four. We've made a few of these videos, but I've got some new information for you guys. Also talking about where the storyline's gonna go and so much more in today's video. Let's jump straight into this and start off with something which Happy actually posted out here from one of his users, Lou Pillars. Uh, you loop, I'm not too sure how you said the name, but you can see it is a 80s and 90s retro theme prediction, which I kind of like. They go over the 80s vibe, the old commercials, which we've seen in the last video. I'll play a little bit of footage of them over the top as I'm talking, but I won't play the audio there in the last video. And they go over possibly how the season could be 80s or 90s theme due to these old commercials hinting towards that chrome style. Which would kind of work, you know, that emo culture vibe. We've seen it with a few of the skins. We've seen 80s leaked skins. We've also seen old commercials, motorcycles as well, which aren't in the game. And just an 80s aesthetic across the board, which could change the filter in different PORs. I don't think it would change the filter off the entire map, but different PORs. Now, before we go any further, check out today's sponsor, and we'll jump into some more info in a sec. In today's video, we've got a very special sponsor coming in from Yahaha. Yahaha is a brand new creation platform for 3D multiplayer interactive experiences, which you guys can get involved with. Inside of here, there are thousands of different assets all stored on the cloud, and you guys can create whatever you want inside of here for others to play. There is no code required at all, which is really awesome. You can simply jump in, put a few components together, and then you have your own experience ready to go to play with you and your friends or publish for the world. It's a cross-platform game, which is on mobile and PC, where players can discover and join other different creations where you guys can play. There are so many different 3D assets inside of here with millions ready to be used at the get-go, which is super awesome. All the 3D assets are stored in the cloud, which means you don't have to download any of them to your hard drive, which is super awesome because they're streamed in real time when you want to actually place them down and create a really cool creation. Here's a little preview of some of the community work throughout May, which is pretty awesome from Yahaha. If you like what you see, use the QR code on screen or download it down below in the description to download Yahaha. Huge shout out for Yahaha for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so what else do we have for you guys? Talking about that, just concluding what we had there with the 80s stuff, it does make sense. Something like that they haven't done in Fortnite, really. They had the Neo theme. Doesn't give it a 100% 80s vibe. It takes elements from it, but it was more futuristic. So you haven't really done an old retro style theme. And I think generally a chrome vibe would fit that quite well. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of that. Do you think the chrome vibe will fit, fit that sort of vibe? Also, on Hypex's side, he did go ahead and post this tweet earlier this week. You can see it goes over all of the leaked vehicles. Even in the background, you can see me using planes right now. They've recently been updated. You can see their damage has increased a little bit and changed a little bit of the fire rate and stuff, which is pretty awesome. But motorcycles and mechs also were leaked earlier this season inside of the files. This hasn't actually been added this season, as we are aware. Obviously, if it had been added, we'd be using mechs and motorcycles right now. But they are expected to release at some point. Now, one thing you can notice inside of Fortnite is that Fortnite itself has not actually got that many vehicles on the map at one time. Have you noticed they kind of fluctuate between different vehicles? Well, this is kind of a creative reference. Memory and creative really doesn't allow you to have every single vehicle without having a terribly designed map. A little bit like Toy Box. You know, the map designed for Toy Box isn't anything special. It's not terrible, but it's the best I can do with the limited memory. And same with Toy War and Toy and the new Toy Map I'm working on, you guys. I'm not going to announce just yet, but it'll be out in the next few days. The design is only so much I can do when I'm using so many mechanics and so many vehicles, and it's the same with BR. So that's why if we do get motorcycles or mechs, is where I'm going with it, we'll probably expect maybe cars to be reduced, maybe the IO vehicles to get taken off the map, maybe other vehicles to not be in the game for all these so-called vehicles to be introduced. And Hypex does also mention that he thinks that leaked vehicles possibly that were scrapped back in the day that could make a re like re-return from chapter 2 season 7 were rally cars a party van which we kind of already had with the bus a dune buggy which would be a sandy biome style one a city bus which is very random a sports truck which is also quite random and a hmv which is also a crazy one which i would imagine which would be awesome or a huge monster truck etc so yeah i generally do think that some of these do make sense but i can see why they were scrapped it's definitely not the right time but an 80s vibe does definitely give the access to these vehicles becoming a kind of forefront for future technology inside of Fortnite car vehicle wise. I say technology, I, it's not really technology. Technically, they are program it, but it's cool to have some unique, usually vehicle every single season. Sometimes they get added in at the start, sometimes they get added in in the second update or the first update of the season. Usually the first or second, and I could probably expect that again 
at some point. So, what else do we have? He also mentions in the teasers, in the Season 4 teasers, it consumes everything. Chrome will consume all. Chrome will be all. Chrome can consume everything. Weird, for sure. Chrome, Chrome, Chrome. I can't really identify what Chrome is, but definitely not Google Chrome. But in some sense, it could be interesting to see where this is going to go. Don't know exactly, though. This is also another one on the Chrome topic from FN Assist. So here's something interesting from the Fortnite Paradise teasers. In all of the teasers, the products that begin to turn things Chrome are specifically mentioned to be pure and organic. Wherever it's a hint to us or not, Chrome is coming for, from organic items and spreading further. Moisturizer, milk, and pesticides. So, interesting. Do we have anything organic in Fortnite at the minute? Not really. Maybe some of the fields where some of the material, some of the different crops grow. But we haven't really got a farm POI currently on the map, really. We've got a few little ones around, like plumberries, maybe. Imagine like a chrome plumbo. Uh, there's a few different farms around the map, but there's no like dedicated farm POI. So, yeah, maybe. Maybe the mushrooms? I don't know. They're, they're probably pretty organic, the mushrooms. Well, maybe not. They're from like some sort of crazy zero realm, but... Only time will tell with them. But that was an interesting one to mention for sure on that side of stuff with the Chrome stuff. I'm really excited for it. Honestly, I am excited, but I'm also a little bit nervous. And on the topic of Chrome again, we can take a little look. And this is kind of a big leak. So if you don't want to see, we've probably already seen this, but I'm not going to put it on just yet. I'm going to put it on in a second. This is a leak of what the Geno skin looks like. I'm going to put it on in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and it's on. So this is the Geno skin leak. And uh, this has been leaked a while ago in the surveys. He's kind of got a chromey vibe to him. Maybe he has used the chrome to power up his suit a little bit like Vibranium with the uh, from Wakanda. We can see possibly that. It's definitely a confirmed variant of Geno. Is there going to be more versions of the Geno? I don't know. For those that have seen the leak for the Season 5 comic, I won't mention it. I won't say anything about it. I have seen it. And if that is what the truth is, wow, the comics are going to be a mess. The story is going to be a mess. Let's hope it's not. Fingers crossed. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated on the story as soon as that comic does drop, though. I don't want to spoil any of it on my channel, but if it is true, if you're those that have seen the leak, I know a lot of people have. I've been talking about it a little bit. And a few calls of people, definitely looks like the Fortnite storyline is going down, downhill, if that is the case. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I've definitely lost interest in the storyline recently with the challenge-related stuff. I do like the comics a lot. The last comic, which is already out, so I can talk about this one. Season, uh, the fourth one. I don't know what was going on. The mech was messy. The mech wasn't the mech from the event. The devourer was a dinosaur. Didn't even look anything like the monster. And lots of other things in the comic didn't make or add up to anything. It's very weird. And looks like, from my perspective, I feel like they're just doing this just for maybe... Well, they don't... I don't know why they're doing it. They don't really need revenue because they've got enough from their skins. I don't know why, really. The comics are meant to tell a story by just making things confusing. So... I don't know if the people that wrote them hadn't had the right... Con like, I'm hoping it's just not canon and they haven't really talked about it. We'll have to see what the fifth issue brings and see where that goes. But I don't know. So far, I'm a little bit disappointed with that. I expected them to be a little bit more thorough with the lore. Especially with the game being quite complicated. Making the comics even more complicated really does contradict stuff. Contradict stuff and we saw this in the Batman comics as well. So definitely not looking good. And obviously the comics sell really well because of the cosmetics. And I wonder, maybe did the comics just get made just so they could sell? Just because they sell really well, but only because they've got cosmetics in them. Do people actually read them? I do. Do you guys read the comics? Do you buy them or do you just buy them for the cosmetics? Let me know in the comments down below. Interesting point to make there. Uh, but yeah, definitely one I thought I'd mention because it is worthwhile. And definitely one that is quite worrying for the future of Fortnite. We've mentioned it a little bit on the channel. I just thought I'd mention it again. Anyway, that's it for today's video of everything we have for Season 4 related. As we do get more throughout the week, I will cover it on the channel. I'm excited for the season. I hope the comics do align with the story that's currently going on. But only time will tell. A lot of it's getting leaked, which is weird as well. I don't know how comics are being leaked. But hopefully the leaked comics aren't actually the final variant. And hopefully they have made it make sense. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out today's sponsor, Yaha. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. Check them out with the link down below in the description. I'll see you guys soon. Once again, this is Postbox Pat, signing out.